Well, hello my creative friend and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to draw a fashion figure in a step-by-step -step manner by using famous eight hats technique. I was taught this technique while studying at the best Russian art academy in St. Petersburg during my anatomy and drawing classes. This is a sample lesson from my video course on fashion sketching for beginners. Check the program and drawings from this course on my website. At the end of this tutorial, you will master the very basics, the essentials of drawing a fashion figure. So grab your pencil and a paper and draw with me now. Well, let's start by drawing a vertical line and it's going to be our scale. So we will divide this vertical line into eight equal parts. So each part will be one centimeter high. So it's going to be our scale and it's going to be very, very helpful. Of course, you can use a ruler if you want to, but I will not use any rulers. All right, as you can guess, the space between each line will represent the size of the human head. And that's why it's called eight heads technique, exactly because it's eight heads stacked vertically, which eventually will help us uh, identify the placement of each body part. I was taught this technique during studying at the art school and the art academy at uh, St. Petersburg, Russia during my uh, anatomy classes and I really find it very, very helpful uh, because I know that a lot of fashion illustrators and fashion designers tend to use nine hat or ten hats technique, uh, but in my opinion it's always great to start with the basics and eight hat techniques is the closest one to real body proportions. Okay, so we created our 8 centimeter scale and then I put a vertical line which will be our axis of symmetry and it's far from our scale, maybe 3 to 4 centimeters, it doesn't really matter that much. So this is our axis of symmetry. Also we can call it the central line or helpline or the plumb line, basically we will use it for balance in future but for now it will help us to draw a symmetrical figure since we are focusing on a static uh, figure, not a figure in motion. All right, so normal, like average woman has usually seven times her head in her entire body. High fashion models might have up to seven and a half or eight hats. And I want to show you something from this book on fashion drawing. It's full of beautiful illustrations. By the way, fashion illustrators and fashion designers really like to extend and make the girls thinner because it looks aesthetically pleasing. So you might ask yourself, like, why to elongate proportions in fashion illustration? Why do we need to do it? Because here, for example, we have this uh, model and let's count how many hats does she have in her entire body. And you can see that she's a pretty tall girl, right? So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. And notice that she's high heels. So as I told you, normal woman has usually seven times her head in her entire body. So what we can see on exactly right the next page, how many heads are here? 11 heads here to the right and even more 12 heads are to the left. For example, in Parsons University, they teach you that you have to draw even 12 or even 13 hats. So fashion drawing is all about transformation of human body, of elongating of proportions. In order to make the garments, the clothing look better and finally to make the fashion looks uh, look better and more aesthetically pleasing. For example, in this book they teach you nine hats technique, so it is slightly elongated. By the way, you can find this book review on my YouTube channel. I will put the link in the description. Well, now on to the measurements. We begin with the head. And here I recommend you to draw not just the oval or ellipse-like shape, but more like an egg-like shape. So how to draw a fashion, uh, fashion style this egg shape. First, we begin by drawing a rectangular form, which is two segments wide and 
uh, three segments high. It's a very common proportions for a head. Then we draw a central axis. And after that, we draw a circle in this upper square. And right after that, it's really easy to uh, finish this form of the egg. So you just draw this parabola-like shape and voila! Just remember that classic proportions for the head are two to three, so two segments wide and three segments high. All right, we continue with the shoulders, so shoulder uh, width. What uh, can we take is once again our head, but this time we can place it horizontally. So one head approximately to the right and approximately one head to the left. You can make it a little bit smaller than the head, but I will show here uh, like one head to each side. And they we create this uh, very elongated trapezium form. So this is basically our raw silhouette of a human figure. Actually, it looks like a man in a mantle or something like that. Well, next we take the midline and it's number four. So we have eight segments uh, and we take the midline. And this is where the crotch is, the perineum. So we have the crotch, we have the shoulders guideline. And remember, the shoulders should be approximately twice the width of the head. And at five, we have the waistline. At two, we have our knees. By the way, the width of the waistline is, again, we can take uh, the head and place it horizontally. And yes, it looks like an ideal waist, right? Because as you know, small waists in high fashion models are really a must have. Next, we continue with the arms. At three, we will have the very fingertips of our mid fingers. And yes, the fashion figure has really long arms because she also has extra long legs. Well, at five, she has not only the waistline, but also the elbows. And please notice that I'm making it all very geometric, because starting with geometric shapes can make it easier to visualize the body. Next, the neck. In fashion figures, it is very common that illustrators draw necks uh, very thin looking, very elongated, uh, trapezium shaped, which narrows to the bottom. In terms of the proportions, it will take about one third of our head segment. So you remember we have eight head segments and this uh, one will take uh, one third, the upper one third of the segment between, between six and seven marks and it gives us the shoulder line. So we already dealt with shoulders width, but now it's like the, um, the guideline for the shoulders. And here I have, as you can see, a couple of reference photos for you, my friend, where you can see how rectangular model shoulders are and just compare that with, for example, Leonardo's drawing and paintings where we can see those beautiful sloping shoulders. So in our fashion, um, high fashion models, this is basically a body type where we have very rectangular shaped shoulders like um, uh, boyish, <laughs> boyish shoulders, not girlish. Then we draw two straight lines for the arms. And remember our line for the elbows. Here I'm drawing two circles. So the circles represent the joints. Plus we have uh, shoulder joints and joints uh, at our wrists. Next, I will show hands once again very geometrically. They will look like drops, but inverted drops. So just imagine what a drop and inverted. Well, next, let's show this natural band in our arms around this joint area. And sometimes people start drawing it, like looking out. That's fine, but more correctly, it will look if we'll draw it looking in. And if you look at this uh, cute diagram of a skeleton, skeleton, you will see these two bones. So the upper uh, 
bone of our arm is humerus and two bones uh, below our uh, elbow joint are radius and ulna. Okay, now let's take a closer look at our right arm. So here at the top we have our shoulder joint, then we have our elbow joint, and then we have this joint in the area of our wrists. Next we have our hand, right? So let's show it quickly here and the big finger as well. And after our bone structure is done, we can put some muscle, some meat on top of it. So here, once again, we can draw like a very elongated water drop shaped like form. Alright, so we proceed with our waist. Now let's show its width. So for the ideal fashion figure, we can take the height of our head and put it horizontally here. So remember our head is like our one segment, so we put this segment horizontally and voila, this is our ideal fashion uh, waistline. And now I will continue making it all very geometric because I want to show this rib cage. I want you to see this inner structure of our bones, of our skeleton. So we have this rib cage and we have this, uh, I call it uh, hip trapezium. So we have this high hip line which is slightly below mark 5 and then I will show you uh, the guideline which is exactly the middle between 4th and 5th marks and this is the like widest part of our hips and here I will place also our joints for the legs. Next we draw two straight lines which will represent schematically our legs and please notice that there is once again kind of elongated trapezium which narrows to the bottom. Right after that we can finally connect the dots, <laughs> connect uh, these parts of the body, the rib cage, the waistline. Also I would like to highly recommend this book, The Artist's Guide, uh, Guide to Human Anatomy by very famous Gottfried Bames, because when I was studying at uh, the most uh, famous Russian art academy, uh, we studied exactly Gottfried Bames during our anatomy classes. Basically, he is the best in human anatomy, so read his books. By the way, this at eight heads technique is taken exactly from his book, uh, he's really famous for it. Now I'm drawing circles for the knees. So Let's show once again these joints as little circles and then we continue with the really really big quadriceps mus muscles and I can slightly show uh, the direction of our bones. So if you look at our uh, skeleton we can see that the upper bones these femur bones, they go like in the direction to the center and the bones below the knees, they go more vertically. Since this is a fashion figure, models usually wear heels. That's why I allow an extra space uh, for the feet. Right now I'm drawing these gastrocnemius muscles and one more very uh, useful tip for beginners in figure drawing, I can recommend you to purchase this little wooden model uh, because it has very flexible joints and you can change it however you like, you can give it any shape or form and it's really great for understanding some basics of human body movements and proportions. Actually, when we added some extra space for her feet, this figure started to look more like nine hats figure, but actually it's based on eight hats figure by Gottfried Bamis. It's it just has more elongated legs as it is fashion figure and she's high heeled. Alright, at level six she will have her breasts mid of your boobs so we will show it here and please notice that fashion models they usually have very very small breasts so very common mistake beginners in fashion sketching uh, used to do is uh, uh, they tend to create extremely big breasts and they go uh, above 
and beyond the borders. So let's imagine that this trapezium is our rib cage, and what beginners do is they draw boobs something like that, and it instantly starts to look like a manga drawing, some Japanese drawing, while in fashion sketching this line it shouldn't go beyond the borders of the rib cage. Just look at these photo examples and you will see what I'm talking about. Why it is like that in high fashion? In my opinion, that's because of the fact that the focus of your attention should be on the looks, on the fashion, on the clothing, the garments, and not on the big beautiful books of the model. Alright, so we figured out where is the apex or the center of this person's boobs and now we continue with your neck and shoulders muscles. At this fragment we can see this smooth transition between the neck and the shoulders, these uh, triangular shaped muscles they are placed here and this area is for the joints. So this is the way we can draw it in a geometrical form. So my congratulations with completing this sample lesson from my video course. You did such a great job and I can't wait to see you inside the course. Please visit my website for the details. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Bye for now.